What is up, beautiful people? It's your favorite drunken nerd here. I'm blazing off. Of course, if I'm not your favorite drunken nerd yet, I will be soon. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video, a cosplay video. Aww. Yes, yes, yes. So in today's video, I'm actually cost testing. Cost testing? Stop this, stop this. So um, I'm actually cost testing my newest um, cosplay that I put together, Michiko from Michiko and Hatchin. Or is it Michiko to Hatchin? Oh my god, I am messing up today. Anyways, cost testing is when you have all the pieces to your costume, um, you know, ready and good to go. But you're just like, how am I going to do my makeup the day I debut this costume? Well, that's what cost testing is for. You know, trial and error, trying to figure out how you're going to do your makeup, how you're going to do your eyebrows, everything like that. So that way it is perfection when you do your shoots or you debut it or you're on the floor just looking so damn fabulous. <laughs> so in today's video that is exactly what I'm doing kind of like a get ready with me kind of thing um, I had already actually trimmed and styled the wig itself and put the costume pieces together as you can see as the final result <laughs> also this video will be a little story time I'm going to explain why I left DeviantArt for a couple years uh, just being on a little hiatus kind of thing um, due to some drama that exploded in one fandom and um yeah uh somebody's trying to basically resurface this drama blaming and claiming false lies about me so you know if this person just keep my name out of their mouth it wouldn't come to this so uh justice is in order i'm about to spill the most delicious tea ever with all the evidence and screenshot that you ever could possibly imagine proving my innocence proving the innocence of others and exposing a toxic person for who they are so before we get down to this video don't forget to leave a like because i know you're gonna like this video whether it's the cosplay portion or the story time portion and don't forget to subscribe to my channel that way you guys are always following in my shenanigans and hey don't forget to actually follow my other social media platforms as well so that way you can keep up with my goofy activities <laughs> all right so let's get down to business all right so we're gonna start with a clean face before we do the makeup obviously and we're gonna start off with a drink my choice you would think tea would be more appropriate for a story time like this but now nah, you know me you know who you dealing with now nah, i'm just gonna deal with my own little martini So, um, basically, basically to start off with the story, um, there's this person, her name is Starry Mo, um, or at least she goes, she was known as Starry Mo in the Big Hero 6 fandom. She has many names, many, many names, because she has many, many different accounts, puppet accounts, I might add, add. that we'll get right into that later. Cause it is valuable to the story so this character story mom basically she was she's like the karen of freaking deviant art i would say was but she's still acting like a damn fool even to this day when we first met her in 2014 right around the time that the big hero 6 movie actually came out itself the reason i call her a karen of deviant art is because she literally is the definition of what we call karens nowadays she is I believe a woman uh, that's pushing 40 somewhere she might be in her late late 30s whatever she's a middle-aged whatever woman and she is playing victim and acting like her mental illness is a problem and a reason why people will pick on her and such okay Karen you're just being very very dramatic She's also racist, transphobic, homophobic, which is weird because she has a girlfriend, right? You would think, okay. And, you know, also slut-shaming and fat-shaming people. So she's just your Karen of deviant art. So how we met this character basically was the start of the Big Hero 6 fandom around the time um, the movie actually came out around 2014 of uh, November-ish, December-ish time frame. And if you guys are wondering what I had put on my face, I actually put on a Glam Glow. Um, this pretty much kind of, it's like a moisturizer, so helps with my skin. And I also using the e.l.f. primer as well. So at the time, there really, really wasn't anyone there in the fandom. So me as, um, I should say, Mwa Cheeks, aka Sparbly on DVR, decided to create our own OCs, our own universe and such, and just, you know, have fun with it, right? 
so you know basically we create our so we, oh bleh. we basically create our ocs my oc was named spice um she was paired up with tadashi basically and of course i'll leave a link in the description for you guys just to check out all the pictures i referenced to you and everything like that <coughs> always sneezing every time i do my damn makeup and my cheeks oc was actually paired up with fred now this is going to be very important because this is this plays into the story of why she act the way she is so to basically start off star mo has an oc of her own that it uh their name is telly i guess that's how you pronounce it whatever don't give a shit um she's also paired up with fred now mind you she didn't actually come directly to, um at Moi cheeks or anything like that um or you know made any assumptions or insulted him in any way from what i understand now he has his own story about how he met Star Emo and what went on between them. All I know is that when he was talking to Star Emo, she manipulated him into thinking that our group of friends didn't care about him, we were using him, and we didn't like his OCs. That is the only thing I know that she did to him, per se, during that time frame. Going in with the Knicks. So, basically... Um, you know, with a lot of people coming into the fandom, you know, OCs, some OCs will start to get attention more, um, shippings will be developed, all that good jazz. We have this good friend, um, we're gonna call her a cat just to avoid, um, anyone, uh, knowing what her username is and all that stuff on DeviantArt, um, right now. But, um, we have this friend named Cat, that's the name of her OC as well. Uh, she actually had a pairing that was paired up to fred too now um cat is a very talented artist you know everyone really loves her art style and just love the characters that she comes up with so it's a no given that cat's character and pairing would actually get a lot more attention faster and you know just become popular at that point which is pretty much the same i could say for me as well my character did um, become popular um through some developments lots of arts that i created stories behind everything and the pairing became popular as well this attention towards cat and the pairing catzilla fred and cat um drew starry mode towards um cat now starry mode is the type of person who wants to act all nice and buddy buddy with you just to get what she wants and manipulate people so she thought it was uh, a good idea i guess to go ahead and try to buddy up with cat along with anyone that's in our circle so that way she could become popular herself and get the attention cat actually um was accused of stealing starry mo's design for telly by claiming that Kat had the same hair color, excuse me, not hair color, had the same skin color and hat design as Telly. Yeah, we're a bit all dumbfounded because um, how is this the same color as this? Right? Okay. Now, only Starry Mo thought that was an issue and kind of made a big deal about it cat looks like a middle eastern person uh, with her distinguished features and her skin color and then there's your character who's basically white pale she looks like a pale pasty nasty brittle paper anyways so story mode actually began to assist more and more that the more that cat posted of her oc and is, was starting to get more attention that cat was stealing telly's design and basically made a couple i should say evidence of proof that cat's design was a ripoff of telly now mind you she used the same evidence that we also use in a argument against her clearly with skin color comparisons it was there there was nothing to fight about she was wrong and she knew she was wrong now the only people who actually believe uh, that believed her stating that yeah they are the same colors and yeah cat is ripping off telly's design was this username named astro kitten now you're probably wondering well is there really someone out there that's actually 
blind or mindlessly agreeing with starry mode and saying that they both have the same concept? Yes. Yes. Well, actually, technically, no, because we did a little digging with this Astro Kitten person because they came out of nowhere. We never heard of them. And they just so claimed that they just joined the Big Hero 6 fandom. We did a little research and it turns out that this was actually a puppet account. A puppet account is basically people who create accounts that really doesn't serve a purpose, but only probably to troll people use as a storage uh, facility for, I guess, just bad drawings or something like that for whatever reason doesn't really serve a main purpose but starry Mo in this case like to use her own puppet accounts to either run away from a situation that she caused or she likes to kiss her own ass so in this case she was kissing her own ass now you would think that starry Mo let it go after being told you know no you're wrong you are very delusional stop it like in the most nice way that we can possibly well, Kat continued to do her artwork and Kat did develop a new OC and this OC happened to have ombre blue hair. Now, at the time that this OC was created, Kylie Jenner was actually showing off her new wig with the same color and bob-like hair that Kat's new OC has. But Sorry Mo wasn't having that shit. She thought that Kat was stealing Tully's design again for a new OC, claiming that the ombre hair is something that's only for Tully. Okay, so Starry Mo started to make it a very big deal that Kat was really actually out to get her and she was actually stealing all of Telly's designs on purpose just to stir up drama in the fandom. Little did she know that we actually didn't give a shit about her because she was not in our attention, you know, span, really. Just, I wouldn't give a fuck about what she thought about us. We were just trying to have fun, develop our own stories, develop our own characters. You know, the usual fun stuff. So Starry Mo went out of her way to start posting journals and statuses claiming that Kat was actually stealing um, her designs and all that good jazz. Starting with putting up a concept work that she claims that she had in her scraps or stash, whatever. And she was the one who came up with the design first. So first of all, um, this is the first picture that uh, Starry Mo ever posted <laughs> of telemarketer, I mean, whatever. <laughs> and this is the so-called cost of art that she claims um, that she originally designed Tele with. Okay, sure. I don't know about you guys, but I see quite a difference in the uh, style, as in one of them looks very much new and improved, matching up to how she was drawing at the time. Um, so one, we already knew she was lying because the, the new concept, concept art that she posted, um, was, uh, it was brand new. It's something she drew recently and she added the beanie on there. She even put the skin color to match as Kat, just so it looks like, um, Kat did actually steal her design. Well, here's the problem with that. If this was actually in your stash, which she claims it was, how they can actually get a hold of the designs. No one can actually see your stash unless you send out a link. And according to the date that you uploaded that picture in your stash or in your gallery was way after uh, <laughs> Kat actually posted her profile of her OC, right? Doesn't make sense. Somebody is actually trying to set up evidence claiming um, something that's completely false. Mm -mm -mm things people go through the length for. Instantly, we shut that shit down. And at this point, she was starting to become crazy and delusional and we just separated ourselves from her. It's like, look, you we can both exist in this fandom, but we're not gonna acknowledge you anymore because you're just bringing drama to our group. And we've never had this issue before uh, from other fandoms. So just leave us be was basically what we were stating. She becomes aggressive and petty, you know, trying to buy um, art commissions, art trades, whatever, just to, make her OC and her shipping seem more popular. Look here, stupid. <laughs> your OC and your shipping doesn't become popular just because you decide to purchase 
um, people, excuse me, just because you decided to pay artists to draw your ship that other people don't want to because they probably don't see any likings in it. That's not how it works. That's not how popularity works. Okay, okay. But if you want to waste your own money like that, for someone who has financial issues, they claim, then by all means, go ahead, spend your money. Who am I to really judge? I'm really judging because apparently some adults don't actually know how to handle their own money. So after all that nonsense, it felt like that everyone was pretty much trying to tiptoe around her because anything could actually set her off, you know? It's like anything could piss her off and she would go around and spread more um, insults and rumors about how we're trying to come after her, mainly Kat, so to speak. The only reason me and Watch she's got involved was because we were trying to defend Cat because we knew that Starry Mo was just this manipulative piece of shit and she liked to play victim. She actually started to attack me once I actually started posting Cat's pictures or um, I should say designs of her offspring for her um, for her shit for Catzilla. So Cat basically posted more art that's not being seen, you know, sketches on her Tumblr rather than deviant art. So I took the idea I ran with it because um, Kat didn't really have much information on him, let alone like a color palette. So I ran with it and I, I'm i the one who came up with the color palette and such. So, you know, I showed her, she liked it and we just pretty much went with it. Now, according to Kat, she named the son Kaiju, which is, I guess, Japanese for monster. Not sure, but that's, I guess that's what it means. Once I put it, um, posted it on DeviantArt, um, Starry Mo came at me saying that I took her kid's, uh, name for her own offspring of her own couple. And I'm sitting here like, wait a minute. No, I didn't because first of all, I don't really watch you. I don't, I don't watch you. I don't watch your art. It's like, but regardless of um, what it was, um, they're two different characters, okay? Let me stop you there, past shade, because I just realized that she wasn't just making a comparison to that one OC. No, she actually claimed that Cat's Kaiju was a ripoff for all three of her spawns. And I'm just already baffled at the fact that she would think that we would try to rip her off for three of her OCs. Again, the common denominator is Fred. So someone is going to have similar trait, you know? So starting mode was actually starting to get really pissed off. And at the fact that now I'm the one who's stealing ideas from her. I don't need to steal ideas from her. I don't know if I uh, already reiterated this, but I don't need to steal ideas from her. I got my views, my watchers, and everything because of skill, talent, whatever. My own my own way okay like my own creative ideas i don't need to steal from anyone especially not her considering what she, kind of character she comes up with i would not need to steal from her she's not even in a inkling of uh, inspiration board she comes nowhere near that so starry mode being a little bitch that she is she starts making more statuses and journals claiming again that oh no we're bullying her we're stealing her art trying to make her look stupid blah 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 taking credit for something she came up with oh no all that good jazz right we're ignoring it <laughs> at this point anything any journal statuses that starry mode made was aimed towards me and cat and eventually aimed at moi cheeks too because he would actually defend us she disowned him the minute that he sided with us because we were his best friends obviously you know he wasn't afraid to speak his mind when we did treat him like you know as if he wasn't important to the group but we all solved it because that's what friends are supposed to do he told us what we were doing to him or what he felt like and we solved it right then and there but <laughs> to starting most dismay um, her little plan to break up the group or have him side with us didn't work. So she disowned him, basically, and just started insulting him and his OCs as well. So anytime um, the three of us would post artwork, she would criticize our art. She would criticize our characters and what they're doing. Uh, she would honestly make some of the most uh, 
disgusting comments ever. She called my OC and uh, she got my OC a cow. Then she started calling Kat's OC a cow as well, referring to them as cows because they were thick plus size characters, you know, just curvy characters. So, wow, okay, you're gonna fat shame people. Great. Then she also referred to um, Mwad Sheik's OC as a, I believe it was actually a transphobic slur. I can't remember for the life of me. But I remember instantly, because I'm pretty sure I put it on Twitter, that she was being nasty and using slurs against um, my cheeks. So I, I keep this shit document, uh, documented for a reason. So Starry Mo has this habit of saying whatever the fuck she wants to say and be nasty all she wants. Puts it in a status, in a journal, then later on deletes it. So, the, so that way none of her actual followers can actually see what a nasty bitch that she is. But thankfully, we had some mutuals who actually screenshotted some of this evidence for us that we knew would later on come in handy just to prove that she was very two-faced at the time. So anyways, this blog came about and everyone's OC was reviewed, including my own. So guess who got the worst of the worst reviews? You guessed it. Basically, um, just a little sidetrack to... Um, just to explain why we didn't like her OC. She claimed around the time that, um, you know, she accused Kat of still in the same skin color as her OC. Around this time, we did uh, state that she was whitewashing her character because she had a claim that her character was actually part Japanese and part Native American. So we were just like, okay, we get that. There's white passing um, people in this real world, but, it really does seem like you whitewashed your character. If she's Native American, there's no distinguished features whatsoever to actually show that she is, meaning your level of art skill does not actually display that at all. And, you know, maybe we wouldn't assume this if you put a little bit more time and effort into your character. Rude, mean, probably, whatever. We, we did give her advice about it, but she completes, uh, she, she just completely ignored us, so it's whatever. So yeah, she she assumed that we were being racist because we said she whitewashed her character. Look here. My question is, why would you make a white passing Native American? Do we not have enough white passing OCs in these fandoms that get a lot more attention than actually um, POCs, you know, persons of colors and in other fandoms and all that stuff like they get so much attention already wouldn't you rather represent for your own heritage and ethnic background just by actually creating a character that represent where you come from yeah i don't believe in that whole bullshit that she was saying that telly's actually native american or whatever that she's native american because she sounds like one of those white people that be like um i'm oppressed too because i'm actually part native american so going back to the OC review blog. So the OC, so the OC review blog basically rips Tully, a new one, um, and states that, you know, she's a complete Mary Sue. And you can see all of this, read all of this on the actual blog itself, which again, will be linked in the description below. So Starry Mo assumed that one of us was actually running the blog. We, we weren't running the blog at all. No one knows who were running the blog. In fact, for all we know, it was just someone from the inside of the fandom or outside of the fandom got tired of Starry Mo shit and decided to rip her new one as an excuse. Whatever, right? Okay. So, at this point, Starry Mo was starting to lose it. She started posting more nasty statuses claiming that it was us. She was aiming directly at uh, the blogger Maya that she was kissing ass to us. She always just keeps saying that we that everyone's just kissing our ass. I'm just like, okay, sure, whatever. And she just became more and more aggressive than usual. So it got to the point where, you know, one day I just woke up and I literally saw that she had copied my OC. Yes, I said it. She actually purposely copied my OC. She created a new OC that looked exactly like Spice. I guess to try to get it under my skin. Not gonna lie, I did get triggered by it, but my friends insisted that I do not do anything about it because she wanted to get a rise at me. Okay, fine. Now, 
her mutuals, our mutuals, pointed it out that what she was doing was very petty and there was no need to actually copy off my OC. She denied the allegations, tried to stick up for herself, and also claimed that the people who did try to stop her and tell her, like, you know, what you're doing is just very wrong. You can just be the bigger pe person and not do anything. And, you know, she disowned them immediately. She was just like, you're not my friend. I, I cut myself because of the way you treat me. You never sided with me. She used her own mental, mental illness um, as a sympathy card. So that way people will side with her. Her friends would stick with her and everything like that. She claimed that, um, you know, we were the cause of her cutting herself and that anyone who ag agreed with us and didn't agree with her, she was the reason why she cut herself more and why she needed to go to the hospital more and everything like that. She was just being a horrible person. That is one of those verbally abusive people that you have to fucking get away from. Friends, spouses, family, anyone like that, that is horrible. If they blame um, anything that they do towards them or they threaten them, they threaten to hurt themselves because you wouldn't do what they ask you to, you need to get away from them because that is very abusive. So people from the fandom themselves started commenting on her artwork saying, wow, you drew some Spice fan art. This is really nice and everything. And she tries to play it off as like, uh -huh, no, I actually created a new character. I guess I could see the resemblance a little, maybe just because of the style itself. But no, I was totally inspired by Moana. In fact, I actually have a whole aesthetic board to show that I actually was inspired by her. Her name is Leilani and she's actually Polynesian and blah, 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 all that shit. So I'm sitting here like, really? This is the best pathetic ass excuse you can come up with? Really? It was just triggering, not triggering, it was just really stupid and possibly like cultural, it, it was cultural appropriating the way she was appropriating this character because she, she made it that this character was only existing for Hawaiian Polynesian aesthetic reasons. And the reason we, or I should say, the reason that we say that is because, well, her, one of her new puppet accounts basically is, um, well, it's it's a Polynesian aesthetic, or I should say a Hawaiian aesthetic. She she claims that she doesn't claim herself as that, but she actually has this account set up to be a Polynesian woman that's half her age. And, you know, just using the whole Hawaiian culture, um, island cultures as a theme for her own, just for her own gain. Like she's, just, she's walking around and acting like a different race for this this type of account you know but when someone came forth and um basically told her hey like what you're doing is really wrong especially for the for the minority crowd who does uh who does like need the support and the artistry and everything like that you're taken away from them because you know there are people out there that want to support um you know people of color artists and creators and all that stuff and you pretending to be one is taken away from them they're already oppressed enough and you acting like um being this minority you're taken away from someone who could potentially actually get some work from those supporters honestly lost my train of thought because it, it's just she culturally appropriates them and she even admits i just like the aesthetic trend you like it for like an aesthetic you like their culture for an aesthetic can't you appreciate and love their traditions and respect it and not treat it like a trend like literally she's going around impersonating a person of color by using google translates to reply and comment on people's work and pages in hawaiian language or whatever is that the same person that's still appropriating the culture or are they portraying and impersonating uh they're they're per impersonating a person of color whatever it is what she doing is fucking disrespectful and it's disgusting like if you want to run away to a puppet account fine go use one of your other stupid little puppet accounts but do not portray yourself as a minority when you as a white passing person have already have privilege above those already okay okay so you know all this attention to her new oc she starts to just do sympathy journals and statuses saying, you know, I, it hurts that people are comparing my OC to Spice when they look nothing alike. And then boom, here comes Maya actually 
<laughs> taking the picture itself and over coloring it with spice's hair uh the actual colors like the concept colors of spice the actual palette same type of hair texture same hair color same skin color wow this this pretty much everything like she literally did try to mock um spy uh, spy she really did try to copy spice and some of them were just like well that's just her art style this has nothing to do with spice this doesn't look nothing at all like spice you only assume because of the art style and you're jealous and it's like no no uh, part of my art style was trying to influence the little disney in it esque and there has been a couple times where i've drawn spice in a disney-esque kind of style they still look about the same so my style or not she delivery tried to copy spice so all this blows up and she began to block people left and right so at this point i don't know what the fuck her watchers were doing but i felt like they weren't stepping in at all because they feel like wow it's in my business but i'm just gonna keep praising her for it she decided to one day post a journal a call out journal it was a call out journal for definitely me cat and moi cheeks but she also drugged other people into it that basically called her out on her shit and that were her friends and she instantly disowned so this whole call out journal came about and you know her mindless drones of watchers were just like yeah they are being bullies well even though the evidence that you have doesn't look like anything that they are bullies we're just gonna go ahead and agree with you so i was ready for this shit oh i was ready i was ready and a couple other people were ready too so i had my journal ready to call her ass out with all the evidence that we ever collected over the past two years dealing with this shit and i had it lined up and i called her ass on it and i fucking ripped her a new one now once i did that other people started doing it as well just to spread the word just to show that i'm not the one being delusional and she really is a horrible human being so everyone started posting their journals as well displaying that she is a horrible fucking person you know multiple people even outside of the fandom says that you're a horrible fucking person you're probably a horrible fucking person i had some great supporters people who were just a fan of my artwork and they were just looking in from the outside they they completely saw what she did knew what she was doing was wrong and completely had our backs about it they even made sure to spread the word for me as well and i just love just i love my watchers and supporters because they're they're the real mvp they're really the real mvp where the fuck is the damn blending brush at so basically i wouldn't even say a full-blown war broke out it was just like the wrappings of uh like we're just wrapping it up for this war because everyone stated what happened they told their own little stories and we even had some outsiders that wasn't even like mutuals with any of us come forth and tell us the horrors that starimo had treated with these these poor people you know so they came forth they shared their stories and you know that helped us a lot in the end so after this whole big blow up of the journals the call out journals and everything like that you know you would think it was the end of it right right wrong it did not end there in fact um she still had a little bit of fight left in her and still tried to drag our names through the dirt but that didn't work because at this point, nobody was listening to her. Nobody was paying attention to her. Nobody gave a shit about her. So she tried to make peace with us. And we were just like, fine, whatever. Just you stay on your side of the fandom. We stay on our side. Leave us alone. End of that, right? So she decided to move on to a different fandom. Move on to one of her different mini accounts. And just pretty much just disappeared. But, you know, at the same time, she did leave a nasty taste in our mouth for the fandom and not a lot of us actually survived the war. So many of us went on hiatus. We didn't really draw for a while. We didn't really talk to each other for a while. Nothing against each other. It just it just happened that way. I unfortunately was one of the casualties. So it happened. So you would think that after all of that, you know, starry mode just disappeared from our lives. We don't have to worry about her ass anymore, right? No. Uh, so it turns out most of my friends actually went ahead and moved on to a different fandom. They went to the My Hero Academia fandom. And of course, who was there? Starimo. 
Now, mind you, I was actually into the anime itself. And I really kind of did want to join a fandom, draw some OCs and all that stuff. But I was just too tired from everything. So I was just like, you know what, fuck it. I'm not going to get involved. So, you know, <clears throat> it, it, it is what it is. Now, Starry Moon decided to try and start fresh. And just, you know, try to leave the past behind. Clearly, she didn't do that. Because I wouldn't be making this fucking video if she wanted to let go of the past. Because... Once again, she had my name in her mouth. And I apparently need to shut some people up when they're just putting false claims on my name, especially on different social media platforms. We gotta shut that shit down. So I didn't know much about what happened in the My Hero Academia fandom just because, well, I wasn't really playing a role in it. However, my friends were. Um, they said that Sari Mo seemed like she did change a bit and that she did probably was trying to move on from what happened at the Big Hero 6 fandom. But that was a complete lie because eventually there were other artists that were a threat to her. <laughs> her little OCs in shipping, of course, like usual. So she started putting false claims and making big deals about people stealing her designs once again saying it reminded her of her trauma from the past big girl six of all the bullies that basically just ruined her life now mind you i don't know about certain artists you know it's kind of a he said she said kind of thing but knowing starimo and her reputation in different other fandoms had to be a lie just it had to be a lie whatever she was doing the most she did accuse people of stealing her her artwork not artwork she she accused people of stealing uh her character's designs quirks all that jazz and it's just it was just a hot mess you know looking from the outside is like wow i wish the big hero big hero i wish the my hero academia fandom actually saw what a horrible person she was and was just like you know what you can't really sit with us um how about you go find somewhere else uh find somewhere else to really sit and talk with people that are just like as toxic as you i wish people were able to see what she had caused trauma in other fandoms but yeah so there were people that stood up against her you know they were her friends and they were like whoa dude calm down because you're you're overreacting you're becoming delusional you, the way you handled this was very poorly and very immature of you what did she do again as usual she blocked them i gotta say though this fandom kind of acted really fast with kind of disowning her and her her lies and everything like that no oh, shit bravo to them it took it took a minute for us but shit i guess because people came from the same fandom they were able to vouch for what kind of person she is so <laughs> oh good things happen to those who wait she she just she's just doing the same shit like she normally does accusing people of copying work and all that jazz when she has no room to talk because she has always been tracing and copying official artwork herself i mean she copied official artwork in the big hero 6 fandom she even copied official profile artwork for the my hero academia um, fandom just to use for her own ocs so you're just she's just like how you want to accuse somebody of copying and shit when you're the main one doing it the fuck and of course the proof will be in the description of her copying official work now it is totally okay to reference artwork and if you do trace you know some people don't condone tracing but some people can learn that way you know, as long as you give credit where credit is due, fine. But don't claim it as your own and act like, yeah, I can mock this style. I can do this and that. You know, it's my own skill and will. Okay. We're going to go ahead and obviously skip the eyeliner part because I'm not going to film and talk to you while I do that. So, and you know what? Might as well just go ahead and bake that while I'm waiting to. Yeah, that the light's looking a little too harsh again. <laughs> Let's turn it down a bit. I lost my train of thought, but you're probably wondering, well, why are you bringing up old shit? Again, I'm not trying to bring up old shit. This happened because, again, she couldn't keep my name out her mouth. 
she decided to make a little story on Instagram or a video about it that I have personally not seen but friends told me exactly what she said in the video and I'm just like if you're really trying to move on from the past why don't you actually openly admit to all the shit that you did and actually apologize for that but you're not going to sit here and drag my name do the third while you're doing that trying to get sympathy points you weren't fucking bullied bitch we called your ass out for the toxic behaviors that you were doing to people and what the toxic shit that you were causing and fandoms i guess while i'm baking i could actually go ahead and put my eyelashes on too okay enough baking as well okay i legit lost my train of thought after all of that and you know what it really doesn't end there because it just seems like you know more people are actually starting to come forward about her toxic behavior because recently um she's been putting claims that her financial situation has been really bad and that she needed emergency commissions in order to help whatever she was going through now i'm not really one to judge you know financial um situations everyone is different you know some people are are suffering and all that stuff it's just when you put claim that you need financial help but you turn around and spend like you know money like a lot of money on commissions for your stupid ship like shippings and oc fan art that just either states that you were lying to get more money just for commissions or you know you're just an irresponsible adult who doesn't know how to actually you know budget their money it is what it is i'm just calling it as i see in it i for one am guilty of doing such a thing but i managed to usually pay my bills first she seems like the type who would actually save all her money up for a convention and drop like you know more than five hundred dollars at a com but come back and be like i can't pay my rent but who knows again i'm not judging her financial like situation try not to judge her financial situation who knows maybe she actually got some money um you know extra money on hand and she just wants to spend it on herself some people want to do that i do that but you know what at the same time i have money coming from my job that goes directly to bills and rent and then i have my little side gigs and jobs where that's my fun money and sometimes fun money becomes bill money because i'm a responsible adult it is what it is she's actually not completing commissions and art trades that she does actually accept from other people she's basically taking their money and she's not doing the work for it so when people do ask her about it she just blows them off and continues to open more spots for more commissions it's just like it's like excuse me are you not gonna do what i paid you to do are you really just disregarding everything wow okay so all in all, she's really just a horrible fucking person. She really is a Karen of Deviant Art. I think I'm good on the makeup and I'm just gonna pop into my cosplay now. Anyways, I said what I said, but I do hope you guys enjoyed this little cosplay makeup test. And of course, me exposing a toxic person for who they really are. Of course, I will go ahead and link all the parts to my cosplay in the description box. And I do hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!